Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I totally did not forget to post a walkthrough of Bloxburg Wonderland. So that's that's not why we're doing it now at all. I'm not gonna go into like so much detail about every room because this is a really big plot and it's gonna take a while to go through already. So here's a sign, it says Bloxburg Wonderland. Here's what it looks like from the front. This is a bridge and it has a railroad track above it and the railroad actually goes all the way around the plot, which is really cool. Here is the playground. Didn't know this slide cost blocks bucks until I bought it, so that's nice. But you can go up it and you do get stuck in the floor, so totally worth the money. And then there's a rock wall and some swings, and then I decorated the fence with some garlands to make it all cute. This is all of like the shops and offices. So this is the snow globe shop. Each shop has a little counter area. If you go down this little path, to be honest, I don't really have a name for this one, but it's like the wrapping shop. I put a whole bunch of presents everywhere, and then I had a friend help me color all of them and make some cool patterns and color combos and then if you go in here this is just like a random Christmas shop there's a whole bunch of nutcrackers with different color coats some of those like shelf elf things this is the toy shop so there's like teddy bears robot giant teddy bear to be honest not a fan of this room I think I still posted it but I just needed a room filler so I just put stockings and garlands in here and I did like the different garlands but you probably can't even tell but you can tell like it was for stockings and stuff this is where Santa checked the list with a little fireplace. Oh yeah, he's also in the floor because you can't put Santa in the chair. So um, he's just, he's chilling on the floor. But look, I put a little picture of him and Mrs. Claus. So that's really cute. This is the last room and it's my office, I guess. I don't know, just another filler. So that's what the shops look like. I made a little decal. Here's the code on the screen if you want to use that. So here's what the inside of the hot cocoa shop looks like. And there's a whole bunch of seating for it as well. And you can look out to the ice skating rink. Next up, I'm gonna go up these stairs, which is kind of in a random spot, but it works out. You follow the path and you go inside of the ice cave and you go up these steps and you've got the sledding area. And then below you have the ice caves that goes down a couple floors. So you can grab an entertainment and you can go up to this floor but if you go across there's actually a sledding hill so you press use and you go all the way down into the basement area and then this is the snowball fight area if you go up here you go to the first floor which is another layer of the cave and you can look up into the ceiling as well there's one person <laughs> if you follow the track you actually go into another cave there is a log cabin so here's what it looks like from the outside it's very tight inside I needed something in here so I just put a cabin and had to squeeze some stuff in. There's a seating area, a very small kitchen, the bathroom, the bedroom. I'm very happy with the bedroom. I think putting a reef above the bed was super cute. So that's the cabin. And then there's a bunch of reindeer and some more snowball fight areas. And then you can walk out right here too. There is a fire pit where you can roast marshmallows. And there's a tree farm, which is a super cute area for pictures. And this building is the cafe. So there's seating. I did a menu and here's the code on the screen for that decal if you want it. And you go inside. Oh, there's a gingerbread cookie. I am so happy with this kitchen. The cafe was actually the first thing I built on this plot and it has two stories. So here is the second story and then there is a balcony. Now if you go down here, there is some seating where you can put on your ice skates after you get them from the ice skating like renting area and you have the ice skating rink. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see what it's like. So you get little ice skates and it's the cutest thing and then you can spin on the ice as well and then there's like some more seating. Over here is another spot where you can put on your ice skates or you can make an ice skating outfit or just like a winter outfit and then if you go up these stairs I never had a sign for it but these are the mood stations and I'm glad you all figured that out so there's a whole bunch of showers and then there's some cute little beds and I put a little Christmas tree there we're gonna go up to the homes and the restaurant now so if you go up this hill you've got the first home they all kind of sort of look the same except they get smaller and smaller every single time so here's the kitchen we've got the living room this is actually my favorite house out of all of them this is the bedroom and then like a little seating area and then there's also a garage where my Jeep is Oh no, I forgot to color a piece of roof. Here's the second house. Sadly, there's no Jeep in here, but there is a garage and another part of roof that I forgot to color. So as you can see, this one is smaller than the other, but here's the kitchen, living room. This one is just a single bed because I couldn't fit a double bed. And then another seating area with a little balcony. If you go up here, there are three more houses. They look like one stories, but they're actually two stories. If you go inside, a mini kitchen, a rocking chair instead of a couch, because you know, it's smaller there. And then down here is a bedroom. Got a kitchen, seating, and then a bedroom, seating, a 
kitchen bedroom. I put bunk beds in them just so there was more areas where you could get your moods up. And then right here is another place where you can look out. If you follow this path, you can go down some stairs to the restaurant or you can go through here where the parking is for the houses above. And you can go into the restaurant. Here is the seating area. When did I put a fountain there? I don't remember putting a fountain there, but okay. And then if you go down these stairs, my favorite part, you've got an outdoor seating with a beautiful view of the whole plot. There is a super big kitchen where we actually made a whole bunch of Christmas cookies during the event. Here we have a beautiful ramp that you can drive off. Here is another look of the bridge. So yes, these are plates. I'm actually super happy with how the bridge turned out and it's another spot where you can look off into the distance. And then there's one really cool thing that you can do. You can climb the trees and I'm gonna zoom out for this. You can jump on to a couple clouds. Ooh, almost fell. There we go. Awesome. I'm glad I did that first try. You can go on Santa's sleigh up here, which is another view. And here's the bridge as well. Got somebody going across the bridge right now. I think that's it already. Wow, I did that much quicker than I was expecting. So that is the walkthrough. Let me know what you think of the plot. And if you'd like to see the speed build for this, I will put it in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.